All right, I wanted to kind of give you an update on the uh, Crystal Radio project. I decided to uh, just do something simple, put it in an enclosure. So I took an old box, and uh, you can see I got a couple of my controls here. If we look inside the box, see all of our. Uh, components that we've been working with now I've got the uh, I got an air capacitor here this is for the antenna remember we said you could put a capacitor that runs through a, uh, the antenna that's coming in we would run it through an air capacitor first and then run it to the coil and run our whole circuit like we did before and you can see how we did that on the, uh, the other videos. And here we have our tuning capacitor. Over here we have our diode. And we have our coil. And then on the outside, I made an attachment so I can plug in here. And I can either hook up little headphones at the end of the wire. Or in this case, what I've done is I've, I'm running into a breadboard. I've got a LM386 uh, op amp. That what I've been using this for the uh, uh, amplifier. In case you wanted to amplify uh, your sound, if you know, trying to find it with the little uh, headphone sometimes makes it tough so uh, let's see what what happens if we uh, use this op amp well, one of the reasons why I've been making too many videos lately or following up on this as you can see I've uh, there's my Kenwood TS520 that's a uh, it's a ham radio rig from around the 70s and I've got a couple other things I've got a uh, that's a uh, Heathkit HW8, and what that is, that's a uh, a CW rig that runs on uh, 80 meters, 40 meters, 20 meters, and you're supposed to get 10, but uh, I think that needs a crystal. I'm not really concerned about that. So that's I've been kind of putting my ham shack together a bit and it's kind of taking me away from the video things but I did want to show you did want to show you the crystal radio in a box and it just goes to show you know there's guys out there that that make beautiful beautiful crystal sets put them on nice wood and I mean they're they're great and that would be a great project for somebody uh, what I wanted to do here is just make it real basic simple. You know, here I've got the antenna controller I've shown you, and here's the tuner. And over on the side, I've got lines coming out for the ground and the antenna. And then, like I said before, then the output is over here on this side. Now, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take and make it into a small circuit, put it on a board and uh, find a way to where I can switch it if I want to uh, listen to it with the little uh, crystal earplug I can do that or if I don't want to mess with that and I just want to tune around I can plug this little amplifier in and I'll be able to listen and I won't have to mess with anything attached to my head so I just thought I'd bring you this and show you this and I think I'm down the road I'm going to be looking at some ways to make a better antenna for this I've been messing with antennas um, with the ham stuff and I found some pretty pretty interesting things out so I thought what a nice uh, project that would make is to find a better antenna for our crystal radio
Okay, so in the end here we have uh, we have our simple crystal and we have the optional uh, amplifier that we can use with it. You know, make something simple and comes in handy in case you uh, you know you don't want to mess around with a little earphone. You can uh, hook a uh, nice little lamp up to it. Now this here, I had this thing out of an old computer from long ago. I had a speaker in it. I put a simple uh, circuit together. <laughs> Let's see if I can I can show you this circuit here. Okay, let's turn it the right way. That might help get it. So it's well. There we go. Okay. So all I'm doing is I'm using a uh, LM386. Very, very basic, very, very simple. Not using filters or nothing, just uh, getting a raw feed. And, you know, I'm using a 9 volt battery. I could put a probably a, a 5 volt regulator in there, and that would help uh, with the battery consumption. Uh, you can also put a jack in uh, and plug it. You know, you can have your outgoing plug in the one, the incoming come and plug in the other. How much do you want to do? It, it's up to you. Like I said, this here was just kind of for fun. I did put a off-on switch, just a goofy thing that I scarfed out of. Uh, and join me between nine and noon right here on AM eight hundred. You know, just something that I dug out, and it, and it works okay for what I need. And right now, I've just got alligator clips hooking hooking it up for the input. And like I said, I could eventually, I could make a jack or put a jack up in here and have both. And have. Sorry, that was the uh, that was the uh, ham radio. Anyway, you know, have two ends like this. Have an input here or an output here. Put an input up here. I was going to do that, but it got a little, started getting a little two knots, and I wanted to get this finished. So, right here, and I, you know, and you can get, like I said before, people make these gorgeous. I mean, you can really take your time and that, or you can just make something simple to bang around. This one, I've got the two capacitors. The, all right, I'm going to shut that off. Hold on a second. Let's, uh, Okay, sorry about that. Um, you know, I've, I've got the <coughs> capacitor to adjust the antenna, and then I've also got the other capacitor to tune it in. And, you know, one thing you want to remember when you're doing this is the more stuff you put on it, the more voltage it's going to suck out. In other words, the more power is going to be taken from your, from your radio, from your crystal radio. So... That's why if you're going to add stuff, you might want to do something like a small amplifier because then you can, even if it gets real low and you can barely hear it, you can at least put it in an amplifier and, and bring it back up. So uh, now down the road, I think we're going to talk about antennas. And uh, I'm sorry this one took so long, but like I said, I've been messing with the, uh, trying to get the ham shack together and uh, it's just too much, but I did want to finish this and and show you how this kind of ended up. So uh, uh, thank you everybody once again. Like I said, for people that subscribed and watch and and I do appreciate it. Uh, have a fantastic day and uh, I'll be back real soon uh, with I'm not sure what I'm, I'm thinking some kind of antenna stuff. Okay, God bless everybody. Have a great day.